The Noctua NH-U12A is one of the newest CPU coolers from Noctua, sporting a single tower heatsink design and two 120mm fans. Fans that are regarded as being pretty much one of the best fans Noctua ever made. All this offered for a price of 99 US dollars or euros, give or take if you have a sale going on. This cooler is advertised as having the performance of coolers using 140mm fans and a bigger heatsink, but in a smaller package using only two 120mm fans. The heatsink has a simple single tower design and uses approximately 50 aluminium made fins and a total of 6 heat pipes which I will get into later on. The heatsink itself is made like this and by this I mean it is made as a single tower because the NH-U12A is designed from the get-go to be smaller than coolers such as the NH-D15. Talking about the size, the heatsink itself has a height of just 158mm and a width of just 125mm. The base of the cooler is made from nickel plated copper and has a smooth finish that offers a reflection close to that of a mirror. As always, I have to point out that the small circular marks you see on the base of these coolers are left from the manufacturing process and, to the exception of Noctua, are so smooth that they will not affect the evenness of the spread of the thermal compound, so have no worries. The six heat pipes used in the case of the NH-U12A are made from the same nickel plated copper as the base plate and each has an outer diameter of 6mm. The way Noctua connects the base plate of the cooler with the heat pipes is done through direct soldering of both surfaces together to provide the best possible thermal transfer. At the top of the cooler, the heat pipes have the endings exposed and you can see that not all of them have the tips finished in a smooth way. This is the case with many coolers that do not use a cap or cover for the heat pipe endings. The fans used by the NH-U12A are the Noctua NF-A12X25PWM, which is a fan that has the standard 120mm dimensions and is regarded as being one of the best fans available around. Or so they say. Well, I actually said it as well over 7 months ago in a different standalone review. These fans have a top speed of 2000 RPM and a minimum speed of just 450 RPM. The fans are also using the Noctua SSO2 bearing system and are equipped with rubber pads on all corners to dampen the vibration. The fans are fully PWM compatible and use a 4 pin connector for power with a medium length cable that is covered by high quality sleeving. The accessories are the standard package offered by Noctua. First, you have a metallic backplate to secure the cooler over the CPU and provide a better weight distribution over the motherboard. Then you have a Phillips screwdriver and a full tube of NTH1 thermal compound included. Then there are also two noise adapters that will lower the fan's speed and a single Y splitter for powering both fans from the same fan header. Of course, you also have the components for the mounting system, but those are correctly labeled within the manual. With the cooler installed, you get to see just how compact the NH-U12A truly is. It only covers one of the four RAM slots of the motherboard and even so, the heatsink itself is tall enough to allow the usage of above average in height RAM sticks, as you can see here. There is plenty of space left for the graphics card and the fans can be moved upwards to allow for taller memory modules to be used. Before we move into the performance of this cooler, here is a noise sample of the NH-U12A running with both fans at their maximum speed. This way you get to hear the actual sound that is generated by the cooler and not just some numbers in a graph. The sound generated by this cooler peaked at 41 decibels with the measuring device placed at 10 cm away from the system and cooler. As you just heard, there are no unwanted bearing noises or vibrations being generated by the two fans even when spinning at their maximum speeds. This is mainly thanks to the SSO2 bearing, the design of the impellers and the rubber pads placed on each corner of the fan frame. The actual testing of the cooler is pretty straightforward. I am using an Intel i9-9900K CPU that is overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. There are two tests to see the performance of these CPU coolers. The first one involves the usage of Intel Burntest V2 benchmark. This software provides a constant load on the CPU that is similar to what you can expect from many modern games. And in this test, the NH-U12A reached a maximum temperature of 59 degrees Celsius with an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. This places the NH-U12A right next to the Noctua NH-D15S edition. 
However, the true performance will be shown when we move on with the next test. And in this test, we are using the AIDA64 FPU stability test, which provides an increased load on all cores of the CPU. This type of load will not be encountered in any video game that I know of, but it does help us see what CPU cooler performs the best when pushed to the limit. And in this test, the NHU12A reached a maximum temperature of 87 degrees Celsius with the same 26 degrees Celsius ambiental temperature. With an average price tag of 99 US dollars, what is the purpose of the Noctua NHU12A exactly? To make it simple to understand, it is Noctua's answer to every single complaint that everyone had regarding the NHD15 or the NHD14 or other coolers that are on the big side of things. The NHU12A is smaller but still performs good and is close to both the NHD15 and the NHD15S version. In terms of sound, with both fans running at their maximum speeds, you will hear some noise. Fortunately, it is just wind noise and no vibrations being passed on or worse, bearing noises. Realistically speaking, nobody will use their CPU cooler with their fans running at their maximum speeds. Even so, at just 41 decibels and having two fans running at over 2000 RPM, we can give the NHU12A some slack as this decibel value can be reached by coolers that only use a single fan, which also spins at a lower top speed. The only drawback of this cooler is of course the price. At 99 US dollars, it is not exactly cheap, and in fact, it is more expensive than the NHD15, which is a cooler that is not only quieter, but performs better. The reason to get the NHU12A is simple. You want a smaller cooler that will allow the usage of taller RAM modules and perhaps a bigger graphics card. Or you are using a smaller motherboard that does not have that much real estate to accommodate a bigger CPU cooler. Basically, you are either getting the NHU12A for having more clearance overall or you are getting the NHD15 to get the absolute best performance. If you like this review, then you can perhaps consider subscribing for more and if you feel like supporting the channel directly, in the description below you have both the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages of this channel.